The twilight is darker than expected. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Lazel's fear grips you. Not fear of death but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlakith. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlakith's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Always a pleasure. It feels like we packed three days into one today. I'm exhausted. Could be the tadpoles doing, or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's just get some rest. shiver racks your body. It takes a moment for Will to come into focus. You've got wits of white steel. Can't say I'm not impressed. All we can do now is... <coughs> <coughs> ...see what the morrow brings. Your head swims with the slightest motion, and your legs feel as heavy as iron. I reckon come dawn, we'll be... <coughs> <coughs> ...right as rainbows. Stop. <coughs> Blood. That's a pretty sight. So give it to me straight. How do I look? Thanks. That's what I thought. You don't look so hot either, I might add. Neither do the others. So either the fish we had was bad, or... or it might just be happening. Everything that's been happening to us so far has been most irregular. I mean, who's to say this is not just another anomaly among many? My way of saying I haven't a clue. I'm going to bed. Sleep if I can, find some peace if that's possible. Meanwhile, I'll just pretend I had the fish. What's up for discussion? <coughs> Leave me alone! You're... <coughs> You're not the one I need to talk to. Now, if I can just...
contact Raphael. If I can make a deal. I'll just want some of the devil. Uh, candles and trails. Oh, there has to be a way. Speak. Chosen, let me come to you. I can help you. You frown in your sleep. There must be so much on your mind. Her fingers are warm against your cheek, softer than expected. You think that you're sick, that you're dying. Are you afraid? How far does the deepest trance lay from sleep? I leave that answer to your clever mind, darling. You don't understand, darling. You're turning, yes, but... yet still a shadow of what you will become. Come now, I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go, lean back. So eager, hungry, but... Something in your blood stirs and twists, recoiling like a wounded beast. It wants her gone. You're not ready. I will return when you are. But I do have a parting gift. Good morning. And it truly is, isn't it? A very, very good morning. Do you feel as chipper as I do? The night brings counsel, so the saying goes. But last night had quite a bit more in store, wouldn't you agree? Wah! How's that for feeling better? Remarkable. Or perhaps we should call it suspicious. There's a glow about you, no doubt about me too. We feel startlingly well. And yet there's a certain look in your eyes, the far off distance of a haunting, which begs yet another question. Did you too have such puzzling dreams? Surely not the only adjective that springs to mind. What I saw surpassed the vivid. The voice was too true, the touch too tantalizing. I can tell you felt the same. Sought out in the night by... What? An illusion? Or a promise? <laughs> you have me there. As for the lure of the touch, the kiss, the everything. Did you relent or resist? The dream wasn't just about power. It was also about desire. But that doesn't answer my question. Did you relent or resist? It felt impossible not to. I did as well. 
It was an expert, this apparition. First the seduction, then the spurning, then that teasing souvenir. You're not ready. I will return when you are. That's what I was promised. We have some restless nights ahead of us. Seems like a good moment to talk. Having fun telling everyone about your naughty little dreams, are you? No one special. Some young beauty, uh, seductive and uh, enticing. The blank look, the flat voice. He's holding something back. I dreamt of him. My old master, Casador. You know what separates us from animals? Choice. I choose to travel with you. A dog would do it on instinct. To fulfill a need. Disrespect me again! And I won't choose to kill you. I'll do it on instinct. To fulfill my need to hear you scream. I need a quick word. Well, look at you. Fit as a fox and twice as eager. I feel it too. Not just renewed, but improved. New talents aching for release. Mm, I want to have a word. My blood is cleansed. My muscles still. I have been shown new might to tug foe and fiend into reach. Damn it all! Always makes my day better. Something tells me I know what you two were talking about. Both feeling better than you did last night, yes? Not even just that. I awoke with new... I don't know... powers. It was the same for you, wasn't it? The good health. The power. The dreams. I don't need to worm my way into your thoughts to know that. It's all over your face. So did I. I dreamt of someone I'm very attracted to. There was a promise of power. I had exactly the same dream when aboard the Mind Flayer ship. I rebuffed the advances, of course. If it happens again, Try to resist. We can't take anything for granted. Especially when it's to do with what's going on up here. You're always a pleasure to watch. Every day you become stronger. Every night you grow. But you deserve even more. Her fingers flex against her thigh, coiled with tension, longing. Let me help you. I knew you were the right choice. Let me show you what's to come. Your enemies will fall. The world will bow. You'll have everything you could ever desire. Something. It 
it happened to you again, didn't it? Another dream. It was the same for me. I led an army, spilled a world full of blood, all for his embrace. I still feel the warmth of his touch, and the screams of those I slaughtered for him. Did you want it? What you saw? I wanted it. I thought you were the same. Perhaps I was wrong. I hear you had dreams too. The brain bugs got busy last night, and I've got a theory. When you call on the tadpole to influence others, we pay the price that very night. All of us. Perhaps it's time we stopped indulging in the more useful aspects of these parasites. Advantage or trap? As much as I usually respect you, I think you're wrong here. These dreams are dangerous. Maybe it will bring us closer. What's on your mind? I should speak up. The nights have been restless, but you don't look any worse to wear. Holding steady? The law of something more, more pleasure, more power. I know it too well. A kiss, a touch, a victory, minor gifts with bigger ones always to come. My advice? When a tempting stranger offers you sweets, deny them. There's no cure for the poison inside. I want to have a word. Speak. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. Perhaps. Absolute may be a mere pseudonym behind which this master hides. Whatever this voice, whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. Wake up. Your face aches like your jaw's been wrenched asunder. Your tongue is lead, skull eager to burst. Why won't you let me in? Can't you feel what's happening? Agony suits you, suffering less so. Take a deep breath and relax. I need to go deeper. Nausea twists your stomach. But it's hunger, not revulsion. Something inside you clamors for blood, for death. And only the tear of flesh will do. It wants her. You deserve everything that's coming for you. Good night. You disgust me. So utterly ungrateful. I'll find you again. 
And next time, you'll beg me for forgiveness. I know, but you'll keep fighting, won't you? We'll find each other, and everything will be all right. Seems like a good moment to talk. Don't tell me. Another dream. And this one was more... intense. One of us goes messing in heads and the brain bug gets cranky. Sure as snow in deep winter. Enough with the mind meddling, don't you think? You are a fool to invite the geek into our minds. We serve them a veritable feast. Did you even stop to consider the consequences? We could be doomed, thanks to you. Apology accepted. But next time you get the urge, think it through. Even the Blade's got his limits. <laughs>